Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. These are the two free card kits for the month of October. Please use the host code when you order and the host code will be listed right down here um, in the description below. But it is so easy to get these free card kits from Stampin' in the Valley. Uh, you just order $25 in Stampin' Up! product prior to shipping, handling, and taxes and I send you these card kits in the mail. Now there's some rules from Stampin' Up! No stamped images, okay, but I will send you the elements. So you will get the oval framelits here and this, uh, the stitched framelit right here on this card, but it will not be stamped. It will just be white. You will get your envelopes. They again will not be stamped. They will just be plain, but they both the cards come with envelopes. And um, this video also is a tutorial to show you how to put everything together. So we will be back in a moment. It's These are very, very easy to get. Like I said, just $25 in Stampin' Up! product, and I send you the kits. And it's just so much fun. If you're a new customer, though, I will also send you the annual catalog and the holiday catalog for free. So um, I'll be back in a moment and we'll put one together. With this card kit, I am featuring the Dashing Deer bundle that's in our holiday catalog. And I just love the curly antlers. I went crazy over these curly antlers. I love them. Now, because I cannot send you stamped images, these card kits are designed with, of course, that you know in mind. So I do a lot of embossing, and I do a lot of framelit or thinlet cutting out for you guys. So um, this is just so much fun. Look at the inside of this card. If you do order this stamp set, okay, if you do order this bundle, this is just a gorgeous element right here. Let me show you this, guys. I did it on this envelope. Isn't that beautiful? What an element. I love that. So we're going to do the inside of the card that way. So let's bring this in. I've already done some of my elements here off camera, but that's what you will get. You will get um, a plain whisper white envelope. You will get a thick whisper white card base. This is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. You will get your first layer at five and a quarter by four and it is embossed with um, this new embossing folder. Okay, how beautiful is that? Okay, I emboss it for you. And then I've used, let me show you. The Dashing Deer Framelit. Isn't that fun? I love his antlers. It's a great framelit. And then I used, uh, right here, I used an oval stitched framelit for the sentiment. And you will receive that just plain, not stamped. So because we have um, dimension here, what we want to do is use our Tombow. And you can use this debossed or embossed either which way. I think both sides are beautiful. I'm going to use the embossed side toward us. And you want to use a liquid glue with this because of all of the indentations. Okay, just like that. And I also like Tombow because it gives me wiggle room. So you just add, let me move this envelope, you just add a, keep your border about the same around the card. Like I said, we've got some wiggle room here with the Tombow, that's really nice. Okay, so there we go right there. And we'll press that into place. And then you're going to receive your deer, just like this. I don't provide any dimensionals or any glue, you provide that. I suggest two large dimensionals right there on the body and then I'm used a mini up there on the head. Okay, on the deer. And um, so you will receive this element right here because I'm allowed to do that. And then I put him like he was dashing through the snow, right? 
And then you, I, I stamped in a cherry cobbler, happiest Christmas wishes. I cut it out with the oval framelit. You will get the cutout uh, of the oval framelit, the stitched oval framelit, but nothing will be stamped. You could stamp whatever you want on it. I hope you do enjoy, though, this set that maybe you would order it. Um, so then from here, I'm going to open this and we're going to work on the inside of the card. I've got my cherry cobbler opened right here and I've got this beautiful um, poinsettia stamp. This is just gorgeous. So just tap tap in that cherry cobbler and I'm going to put one at the top, one at the bottom. And while we have it going, let me grab an envelope right here. And I'm going to put one at the bottom and one on the back. Oh, that is such a gorgeous, gorgeous element. I love that. Okay, then in the middle of the card right here, I really have been enjoying doing sentiment in the middle of the card. It says, remembering you this season with warm thoughts and a wish for everything merry. I think that's beautiful. So let's see. That's, there's the R in remembering. <laughs> it's so bad to get this far right on a card like we haven't all done it before and then stamp the last thing upside down. Oh, it does happen. Just right there. Beautiful card. I love the inside of this card. Love this element right there. Mm. Mm, that is really nice. So that's our first card. And I'll be back in a moment and we'll put the next one together. Okay, let's work with this card now. You'll get your card base just like the other one. And it is a Thick Whisper White at 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. It will also open like this. And you'll get your envelope, uh, but it will be a plain Whisper White envelope. Nothing will be stamped on it, okay? So let's move this aside, and I feature the Country Home stamp set with this card. This is a beautiful stamp set. I hope to do more with this. I love this container right here, both of them, so I will be doing more with it um, later on. So let's go ahead and bring our elements in here. I will already emboss this piece of old olive for you. It is five and a quarter by four, and it's embossed with this beautiful tile dynamic textured embossing folder that's new in the holiday catalog and then you will get these elements here you'll get this in real red that's of a oval framelit and then you will get a white stitched but not stamped okay oval right there and let's go ahead and put that element together just with a little bit of snail so this is what you want to do here is just put your simply thankful for all the good things and you want to just make your embellishment um, I love the oval and the round and and uh, the square framelits I think that they are just fantastic uh, partner with the stitched framelits because they layer with each other and it makes just a really nice um, sentiment on your card it makes the element look fantastic when it has just that little bit of border and the little bit of stitching, I think, together. So we'll just peel those off. And here's that element right there. And as you can see, that's really going to look very nice against that old olive. I love that. Okay, so let's move that aside and hope I don't get it stuck to anything, right? <laughs> So now we want to work with this element, and you will receive this already embossed, okay? You don't want to use your card base at first with this. First, what you want to do is take this little piece of plaid. Now, this um, piece of paper comes from the, let me get this, under the mistletoe um, designer series paper stack. If I run out of this color combination right here or you know this um, pattern I should say not color combination but this pattern I will switch it with another one but it will be from that 
um, DSP set under the mistletoe, okay? And it, it'll look great, I promise you. Um, so you want to adhere this with Tombow because we are going down on embossed piece of paper here, okay, your card front, and that card front um, is five and a quarter by four. This piece right here is two inches by four inches, and I love the wiggle room. See, you've got the Tombow, so go ahead and get your pieces matched up just perfectly. Oh, it's just great just to scooch it just a little bit. Okay, great, just like that. So you want to add that nice element there. You're going to get a piece of this gold ribbon, five inches. You're going to flip your card over here, and right at this junction where these two pieces meet, just put some snail. Then take your ribbon, lay it over top of the seam there, okay? and just attach it to the back and let it just stick in that snail on the other side. Just like that, okay? And that is perfect. That really makes that um, look very nice on the card. It hides that paper seam, but it really gives it nice dimension. Okay, now what I want to do is um, get a glue dot, and I w I'm going to put it under under the piece of ribbon there and um, then just stick my ribbon into the dot into the glue dot it will secure it down now you want to get another glue dot place it right over top of that and just bring your bow in and I'm gonna tie the bow for you you're gonna I'm gonna do it for you it will come like this and just put it right there into that glue dot, just like that, that bow. Okay, oh, isn't that cute? Okay, now, here is, let's see, where's our card base? Here we go. Here's our card base. Let me move this element out of the way. Now, here's our card base, and we are going to add, um, Let's see, I have it upside down. Yeah, that's why I was like, what does that say? <laughs> you are the happy to my day. I was like, what stamp did I pick? And <laughs> how funny. Into the old olive, full strength. And we're going to come in here to the inside of the card, and I'm going to stamp that. That's funny. Okay. And then I'm going to take my little tile-looking stamp that coordinates with my embossed feature there, and I'm going to stamp it into the old olive. I have a piece of scrap paper here. I'm going to stamp it off because I want it to look kind of old. A lighter image, okay? And then I'm going to do my envelope the exact same way tapping it into tapping it into the old olive, stamping it off and stamping it onto the envelope. And I want that kind of um, like it's been on a building for a long time kind of look, okay? That aged kind of look, okay? Oh, so much fun. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring my card base in again. Yeah, we're almost done. Now, because again, that this is so embossed, especially with a dynamic and textured embossing uh, folder, you want to use your Tombow. The dynamic ones have more texture to them, more deeper dimension to them. Okay, and get that Tombow on that ribbon. Okay, just like that. Bringing your card base in, leaving an equal amount of border around your card, just attaching this to the top right here. What a pretty card. Nice. Okay, we bring our element in, simply thankful for all the good things right here. You are the happy to my day. Isn't that lovely? And you guys are the happy to my day on the weekends. Let me tell you, stress-free weekends, crafting in the craft room with you guys. I love it. I love it. I couldn't think of a better way to spend a Saturday afternoon designing some cards and crafting with everyone here. 
on YouTube. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com. It's so easy to receive these two free card kits for this month of September. $25 worth of Stampin' Up! product. Order at my online store at stampinginthevalley.com before shipping, handling, and taxes, and I will send these to you for free. If you are a new customer, I will also send you a brand new um, annual catalog and holiday catalog. Please remember to use the host code when you order from me. Okay, thank you. And the host code is listed right here below, okay, in the description. Thank you so much and happy crafting.